South Carolina store clerk, store owner, shoots, kills a 14 year old child, shoots him in the back, put up the picture for a mask. A 14 year old black child is dead after being shot in the back by the owner of a shell gas station in Columbia, South Carolina. Cyrus Carmack Belton was killed by 58 year old Rick Chow after being falsely accused of stealing bottles of water. Chow was the owner of the Shell gas station on Park Lane Road, and he and his son chased Cyrus out of the store at approximately 8 p.m. on May. 28th. I want you to let that sink in. A father son duo chase a young black kid, shoot him in the back. Does it sound familiar to you? According to WIS News, Chow chased Iris from the store because he assumed. He assumed the kid had taken water and shot him in the back following the chase. Chow's son reportedly told his father that the teenager was armed. Deputies allegedly found a firearm near the body following the shooting. It is in dispute right now if that firearm even belonged to the child. Now, here's what we know for sure, okay? A child is dead, a child was running away, and here's what the announcement was from the police. The owners of the convenience store suspected him of shoplifting. He did not shoplift anything. We have no evidence that he stole anything whatsoever. There was a verbal confrontation inside the convenience store. Um, the victim went outside. He took off running. Um, the son of the owner of the convenience store gave chase. The father who owns the convenience store joined in the chase. He was armed with a pistol. They chased the young man um, towards Spring Tree Apartments. The young man fell down. He got back up. At some point, the son said that he had a gun. At that point, the father shot uh, the young man in the back even if he had shoplifted four bottles of water, which is what he initially took out of the cooler and then he put them back. Even if he'd done that, that's not, that's not something you shoot anybody over, much less a 14 year old, but you just don't do that. We're charging the um, owner of the store, Rick Chow, with murder. What about the son? I got some questions here that I wanna pose for you because I think you will follow. 14 year old goes into a store. According to the surveillance footage, he takes four bottles of water. What does that mean? That means he's thirsty. That means he's thirsty. He takes four bottles of water. He puts them back. There's an argument. There's conflict inside of the store. Why do you think the 14 year old is running? If the 14 year old is running, it would not be outside of the box to assume he has either A, been threatened, or B, he has been shown a weapon and was afraid. So he's running for his life. He falls at one point. Why does he fall? Because he's so nervous. He's a child, he's so nervous that he's unable to connect his mind to his feet. And he falls, he stumbles, and he's killed. According to the Richmond County Sheriff's Office, surveillance footage showed that Cyrus was not shoplifting when he was chased from the store. The Sheriff's, office, Sheriff's Office also said there was no evidence that the teenager pointed a weapon at child or threatened him prior to the shooting. And Locke confirmed that Cyrus was running away from Chow when he was shot. 
Cyrus reportedly took four bottles of water out of the cooler, but then put the bottles back before arguing with Chow and leaving the store. Chow's son chased after Cyrus and Chow then chased with a pistol. Okay. All right. Devaluation of life, bigotry, racism, the belief that it's okay to have a business and establishment in a particular community, but not value the lives of the children who exist in that community, who live in that community. This is why we do what we do at Indisputable. We want to bring not only awareness, but we would like to bring consciousness to it. We want you to have an absolute understanding of what's real and what you can do to change it. This 14 year old is dead. He's dead. He wanted water. If that does not jolt you, shake you to your core, as to what needs to change in this nation. Maybe this will. If Mr. Chow was a police officer, he would be getting a promotion next week. Mr. Jackson, thoughts? Well, I think that, you know, no matter how you look at this story from any type of lens, uh, ideolo ideological, political lens, cultural lens, whatever, um, as the officer pointed out, shooting somebody over water just is not necessary. Using a gun or really feeling the need to take someone's life or go that far with violence um, really isn't necessary or isn't even natural to feel unless you really feel like your life is threatened or you feel like maybe your loved one's lives are threatened. And obviously some water, anything that they may have taken out of the store, let alone the trouble that would come from it. It just doesn't make sense other than looking for an opportunity for that violence and looking for yep. an opportunity to let loose. And that goes into many issues that this country has. Um, and one of those huge issues is the ease of access to legal guns and how often these types of things happen with people who look at, you know, again, no matter what their ideological lens is, you know, if, if somebody's willing to just take their gun out and shoot somebody in the in the back over some water, then, you know, that that that's that's a huge issue there. And in two days or maybe tomorrow, there will be another mass shooting that we'll be talking about. Yeah. Um, you know, so and so many of those issues stem into the racism issues that you pointed out. So um, I think that this was, you know, as you pointed out, it's important to look at this from every angle. But four bottles of water just simply isn't worth that type of violence. Right. And the thing is, the irony on top of the irony on top of the evil on top of the racism is that he didn't steal anything. 